Hey, it's Jason here. Welcome back to my channel, Cloud Garden UK. So today I'm going to show you how to harvest sunflower seeds and then also how to sow them as well. Now sunflower seeds are super, super quick to germinate and they're actually a really, really easy plant to grow. So let's get straight into it. This is one of my sunflowers from last year. I actually harvested the flower head and we're going to be using that later on as a demonstration. A common misconception with sunflowers is actually a sunflower is the giant flower, is one giant flower, but actually it's all the mini flowers that you see right there in the centre. At the end of the season, I chopped off the flower head and then just kept it in my greenhouse and just let it dry out. As you can see, the flower head is all dried off. So what you need to do now is just scrape off all of those old flowers and then underneath them, you'll then find the seeds. The seeds vary in color depending on the variety. The seeds are great nutritional value, so you can use them in salads or you could even start your own microgreens. Birds go absolutely wild for them. Or you can just do what I do, overwinter the flower head and then you've got your own seeds for the next season. Just look at how many seeds you get from that one flower head. To increase germination, what I found is if I leave some of the seeds in water overnight, they kind of swell up and then it makes germination a lot quicker. I just put the seeds in an old envelope, uh, this one's an Amazon one, and then seal it back up. But if you've got a way to separate the seeds from the flowers, please let me know in the comments below. So in my typical lazy gardening style, I was supposed to leave them for one day in water, but it just happened to be three days. I'm not really mad at it, as you can see the germination is really good. Plus, what this now means is I can pick the best ones to plant up. Then I just filled up a 24 cell tray with multi-purpose compost, got my dibber, which happens to be an old spade, and then made holes in the center of each cell and then placed one of the seeds into each cell. Once that was all done, I then put a propagator lid on and then placed it on a sunny shelf. I had some of the weaker seeds left over, but I didn't mind and I'd run out of tray, so I used this old fried chicken bucket and yes, I know that is ratchet and I don't care. The cell tray seeds will grow inside. These I'm just gonna cover with some compost and then I'm gonna place these outside in the greenhouse. Now these are gonna take twice as long to grow as the ones inside but should anything happen to the ones in the tray, at least I've got some spare. So I just gave that a little bit of a spritz and then just popped it in the greenhouse. Now four weeks ago, I used the same method on a smaller variety of sunflower seeds and then just broadcast them on the flat tray and here you are. Now one other thing I'm always guilty of is not labeling and I always think to myself, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna remember and the reality is, is I can't even remember what I had for dinner yesterday. Now, hopefully in a few weeks time, they'll grow big and strong and then it'll be soon time to transplant them into bigger pots. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for something to do to keep your mind active, sunflowers are such a quick and easy flower to grow, I would definitely recommend it. And it'll also make a really, really great project for the kids as well. If you like this video, don't forget to like it subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you know when I next upload a video. Hopefully see you again soon. Bye!